Hey everyone, Caden here with TechTouch.com, and today we're going to be talking about Node.js. More specifically, we're going to be talking about how to install and use Node.js through NVM, or the Node Version Manager. Alright, so before we actually download Node.js um, with NVM and do that whole flow, I just want to briefly state what Node.js is, why it's important, and a quick example so you can really see um, the power of this. Node.js is a runtime environment for JavaScript, and what that means is it allows you to run JavaScript files uh, without a web browser. And JavaScript's early history, Internet's early history with it, is only used in web browsers to provide interactivity to web pages. Now, of course, it still does that, but it does a lot more. Um, and through this runtime environment, you can build things like servers, databases, APIs, chat apps, all this good stuff. Pretty much anything you want, you can build now because we have this runtime environment. Okay, so now on the screen, I've got a basic chat application I've made using Express.js and Socket.io, which are both part of the NPM registry or the Node registry. Um, but I just wanted to get this on the screen to show you guys a basic example of Node.js in action. Now, of course, if you want this code, uh, I will link it in the description below. We're not going to get into the details of how it works. Just know that there's an HTML document being served through Node.js that is connected to Socket.io for messages. And so if we come over here, we say, my name is Billy, and I say hello, and I click send. Both of these are connected to the server, and both of these get the message. Now, if I come over here and say, my name is Joe, and I say, go away and send it over here we're going to see it once again on both sides so that's just a very real and very powerful example of node.js in action okay so now that we've got node.js's intro and a quick example out of the way how do we actually get this stuff on our own machine so on the screen now i'm on nodejs.org which is their website where you can download uh, the most up-to-date version the recommended long-term support version here and you most definitely can just go ahead and download this and follow through the windows that pop up the problem with this is that you have to manually update your version if you were to do it this way see every six months or so major updates are pushed out to npm and node and <clears throat> you need to stay up to date with them because after a while they become deprecated so there is an easier way to do this, and that is with NVM, or the Node Version Manager. And so you can actually keep your Node versions up to date much quicker and much more efficiently uh, this way, which is what I'm going to be showing today. Okay, so now where we actually want to go uh, is the GitHub repository for NVM. Now, once again, this will be in the description, so don't worry about copying the URL on screen. It's going to be in the description for you. Um, but we just want to go to this GitHub repository and scroll down here to the README, and inside the README is two quick commands. And really, we only want the first one. So this one, if you run this in a terminal, whether you're on Windows or Mac OS, this is going to download the most up-to-date NVM version for you. Now, it goes into detail exactly what that does for you. I'm not going to cover that. I'm just going to show you how this works. So once we've copied that curl command off the NVM repository page, we can paste it into our terminal. And all we got to do is click enter and it will do everything for us. Now once this is finished, I believe you actually have to close and reopen your terminal to be actu to actually be able to use it. So I'm going to close. So once we've got our terminal reopened after installing, we can simply do nvm dash dash version and you should get dot 40.1 or whatever it happens to be when you're watching this but you should see some sort of version here all right so now that we verified that nvm is installed we can now download the latest long-term version of node um, like i said before you can get that straight off their website with a simple button click and follow the prompts but what we're going to do is do it through the command line so our our command that we need uh, and we don't even need to know the latest version which is the cool part uh, it'll always grab the latest version with this so nvm install dash dash LTS. Now what that's going to do, it's going to go and find the latest long-term support, go ahead and install it, and make it your current version of Node, all with that um, one command. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's it. That's how you get Node.js installed, whether you're on Windows or Mac OS, using NVM. And using NVM, you can make sure you always get the long-term support, the latest long-term support version, automatically. I hope you guys found this useful, and if you like videos like this, please like this video to give me some support, and subscribe to this channel to see more web dev content going forward. See you guys.